Two people are in custody after a shooting at a mall in El Paso last night. One person was killed and three people were hurt. According to police, shots were fired near the food court. The mall is next to the Walmart, where a shooting in 2019 left 23 people dead and left nearly two dozen others injured. Two members of the Tennessee National Guard were killed in the crash of a Black Hawk helicopter near Huntsville, Alabama yesterday. Authorities say the two National Guard members were on a training mission and nobody else was on board. Investigators are still trying to find out what links the Michigan State shooter Anthony McRae to a warehouse, an employment agency, a discount store, a church, and a fast food restaurant. All of these places were mentioned in a two-page note found in his backpack. So far, they haven't been able to make a connection between McRae and Michigan State University either. Emotions were high in the courtroom when one man rushed the Buffalo shooter, Peyton Gendron, before being held back by officers. Before the sentencing, family members of the victims delivered personal statements. Gendron was sentenced to life in prison without parole. Former White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows has been subpoenaed by the special counsel investigating former President Donald Trump's role in the January 6th insurrection. Meadows was in and out of the Oval Office on January 6th and witnessed to Trump's actions as rioters overtook the U.S. Capitol that day. Today, Texas Governor Greg Abbott will give his State of the State address from San Marcos. The annual address is usually used for the governor to outline his emergency items or top priority agenda items. We're going to have a recap of the State of the State tonight on the Night Beat. Insured or not, Moderna says its COVID-19 vaccine will be free. People who are insured will still be able to get the vaccine at their doctor's office or a pharmacy. People who don't have insurance or if the vaccine is not covered by their insurance can get the shot through the pharmaceutical company's patient assistance program. Retail sales in January jumped 3% after falling for two months in a row. This was the largest increase since the spring of last year. Experts say the strong retail sales numbers could keep interest rates higher for longer to cool off inflation. Tesla has agreed to make about 7,500 of its charging locations available to non-Tesla electric vehicles. The changes are expected to be in place by the end of next year. And that's today's Nine at Nine up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.